What's going on, everybody? This is Eric Washington, the creator of Maggie, and you're checking me out right now on Chats. Hello, Chats TV. I am Samantha Tierra, and I have a very live exclusive. I have here with me Mr. Eric Washington. Now, um, I know that you've got something really, really special coming up, and I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, now, you have the infamous Maggie series. Now, tell us a little bit about kind of what inspired that. Um, so basically what I was looking into is getting back into um, rapping basically because I'm an artist I'm a lyricist and I um, kind of wanted something to set me apart from the other local artists here in Indiana um, so I started to develop a storyline for Maggie well when I came up with it it was like this is something that's extremely influential and, and it touches a lot of the um, different neighborhoods and a lot of current issues going on so why just make it a song to bring me in, in the game as an artist why not just make it a whole movement so that's when the movement um, kind of came from gotcha now with maggie um so far it's been released kind of as maggie one two three four tell us a little bit about you know what made you want to do it that way instead of just kind of making the one big entire thing well it was it was pretty much um trial and error um basically when I first brought it out, it, it was just one full song. I mean, there was no hook. There was no beat. It was just a full um, song. And my hopes were to perform it on camera and make it go viral. You see so many people out here who just do stuff live and make it go viral. So that was my original thought. But then when I thought about it even more, I'm like, well, why shortchange myself? So I performed it for a few people. They listened to it. And at first it was just a song straight through, no hook or anything. And then um, I kind of gauged my transformation of the song by the reactions that I was getting from people. Um, they seemed to be more perceptive when I broke it up in the parts versus just making it one long song. So that's where the uh, four, four part series came from. Now tell us a little bit about the concept behind it. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what's it about essentially? Okay. Um, for those who haven't seen it, spoiler alert, um, <laughs> but uh, Maggie is basically a song. It's, um, it's a four part series, song series about a young woman named Maggie. Um, she she runs into a young guy named Jason and their relationship um, ends up turning her life around for the worse. Um, she was a very young, beautiful young lady who um, had everything going for her. She was a CNA. She was working hard, but she got blindsided by the fact that Jason was very handsome, debonair, and had his stuff together and had a little money. So she, against her friends or so-called friends, better judgment, chose to pursue him, and, and it ended up bad from there. Gotcha. Now, when you talk about, you know, gun violence and things of that nature that's going on within the community, have you felt that you've ever been affected by that in any means possible? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was born and raised in the ghetto. I was born from from Howell, Indianapolis, and, and I've lost plenty of friends to violence, plenty of friends to to uh, I lost a friend to suicide. Um, I've had friends who've had abusive mothers, who've had drug addict uh, parents, who've had I mean, like I've. The list goes on and on. So I'm from a neighborhood where the storyline that I'm providing is like it's 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 real where I'm from. So whereas people may think it's far fetched, this is really something that I see on a regular basis. Not so much as the age portion of it, but definitely the fact that everyone knows everybody and how you can be in the wrong place in the wrong time and how different figures can have a negative influence on others. Absolutely. And I can definitely can agree with that. Now, as far as religion is concerned, you know, do you feel that religion has any part or play in the artistry that you've created, even, you know, within the series that you have? I try to do everything um, on a wide scale. Um, I'm definitely a Christian at heart, I'm definitely a Christian in every move that I make. So um, God will be incorporated in every move that I make. And I pray to him a lot in regards to what moves he wants me to make next. And here lately, he's just been leading me where he wants me to go. Um, but when I first came up with the series, I didn't incorporate God in it too much. Um, however, the stage play will have um, a few scenes where you see some of the actors um, or actresses praying and things of that nature. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's fairly important to keep God in the mixture of whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, I definitely incorporate it throughout it. it. You just don't hear as much of it through the storyline. Right, absolutely. Now, as a rapper, in your personal opinion, how do you feel the state of hip hop is nowadays? I mean, it's to not discount or or um, discredit anyone in the game right now, but 
to me, it's taking a turn for the worse. And I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and he was like, so what are you planning to do? And I'm like, I'm, I'm planning to bring hip-hop back, like the art of storytelling, the, the, the substance, the fact that like hip-hop artists used to talk about current events, current issues. Um, that's where I'm heading to right now. So in, in, in my eyes, we've forgotten about hip-hop, and, and we've gone along with whatever the person who writes the checks says you need to do. And and in turn, what that has done is it's tailored music to certain people to where you only hear either songs you can't understand or songs that you you just wanted to get up and dance to. And, and we've lost the, the soul. We've lost the Talib Kweli. We've lost the Lauren Hills. We've lost the um, uh, most deaths. We've lost like the the heart and soul of, of hip hop. And that's where I want to get back to. Absolutely. Now, kind of going back to, you know, Maggie, um, you've received a lot of hits, a lot of, you know, reshares and all of that. And your wildest dreams, did you ever think that would happen? I honestly did not. I mean, I never short, like, sell myself short, but I'm a huge, I'm not a pessimist, but I'm a realist as well. So I always kind of expect the worst. I guess that is a pessimist. <laughs> I expect the worst. So then when when greater things happen, I'm ecstatic about it. Um, so I didn't expect it to do as well as it, it's done. I made a video like a year ago or so. It was about racism. And it had like 70,000 views within a year. And I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm going to top that. So then when Maggie dropped and I had 70,000 in two days, it was like, wow. wow. Yeah. So I didn't think it would it, it would do as well as it did, no. Wow, that's amazing. Now, when you kind of talk about, you know, again, the storyline behind Maggie, it seems that the storyline kind of caters toward, you know, the consequences of the actions that you do. Is that something that, you know, you intended with the storyline? Was that kind of where you was trying to go with that? Definitely, definitely. Um, the storyline that I originally had made, it, it, it had a few choice words in it. Um, and, and then I kind of minimized that to to reach a wider variety of people um, as far as removing profanity, keeping it on a positive note, know, telling a story in the means where this can reach schools, this can reach different places. Um, but the storyline is real. And I want people to understand that um, at any given time, um, this could happen to you. Some people like look at it as entertainment, but it's other people who look at it and like, this is my story. This is what I'm going through. So I want people to understand that the consequences and repercussions from certain decisions that you can make in your life can be detrimental. Absolutely. Now, what other kind of projects do you have coming up and how can others get involved with it? Um, I do have the stage play for Maggie that's coming out July 30th and I'm having open auditions February 19th and the 20th. Um, anybody that wants to audition can email um, L as in Larry, G as in girl, T as in W, W. It's let's get to work. So LGTW. 2016 at gmail um they can just include their first name last name the role they want to play and then their contact information and they can come out and audition for the roles that's for maggie the stage play um i have a new series i'm dropping that's just like maggie but it's tailored more so to like where's the love like the fact that we're so out of touch with love and relationships aren't what they used to be so that's called what happened to love um i'm, I'm actually filming that this sunday um, and then I also have, I'll do a stage play for that as well. And I also have the Maggie books, which I see that your book, uh, you just introduced me to, uh, yes. uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely going to be interested in talking to you about that, but, um, I'm going to drop the books as well for Maggie. It's going to be a four part book series as well. Um, and, and I will need help from people. I'll try to network with you as well when we get off the, uh, off air, but, um, just anybody who wants to be involved, you can reach me on Facebook at Eric Washington, um, People get so shocked when they say, oh, my God, you responded to my inbox. But I spend like my manager will tell you, I spend the majority of my day on Facebook responding to people. So if you write me in my inbox, if you write it on my page, I might not see it because people flood my page on my timeline and tag me and so much stuff. I may not see it then, but I make it a point to go to my inbox and check my inbox. So it's at Eric Washington. My profile picture will not change for the next five years. It will be me on a black and red Camaro. Um, for marketing reasons, of course, people know it's me. Um, so if you go find me on Facebook, follow my page. You can't add me, but if you follow me on Facebook, um, just click follow and then click see first. And then you can inbox me and ask me any questions or ask me what's going on with my projects. And I'll let you know if I need anybody and you can come out. And I know you mentioned Facebook. Do you have Twitter, Instagram as well? You know, because I know me personally, I'm an Instagram, Twitter type chick. So do you have that? And if so, how can we follow you? I have like I've maximized on social media. So I have everything. I even have a Black Planet account. Like, oh, wow. you, you can reach me on my spec. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. But um, you can reach me on Instagram. It's at Mr. 401K09. Mr. 40, 401K09. 
Um, and then my Twitter name is at Mr. 401k05, and that's the same as my Snapchat as well. So it's at Mr. 401k05 for both. Okay. Now, real quick, I want to kind of give you the mic. Do you have any shout outs or anything uh, that you want to give out to people who might be watching this? And I want to give you the mic for that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, no, I'm just joking. I do want to shout out my um, my team, just the whole Maggie team. Like they've they've worked extremely hard on this. They've came and showed up and and below degree weather. They've they've showed me so much love and support and for free. I haven't paid them anything. My manager cooks for them on Sunday sometimes. So they, I mean, they're paid in meals and 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 paid in fun and and enjoyment and laughs. Other than that, they're not paid anything. So. Um, shout out to them. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. All my supporters on Facebook, like you've made this possible. Without my supporters, I'm I'm literally nothing. So to so my supporters, my mother, my sister, um, just everybody that's, that stands behind me, I definitely appreciate you. All right, so again, Samantha Tierra, we have a very live Chats TV exclusive. I want to thank Mr. Washington for taking time out to sit with us. And again, Maggie coming out the stage play. You heard it here from him first. And also, don't forget to follow him on social media.